Good evening, Edwin. Hi, Edwin Cruz. Hi, Miss Lily. How are you? I'm doing well. And you? Hi, I'm working hard in Platform. Plus. Okay, excellent. So, are you done? Uh, uh, Not yet. Only, only the final, final exam. Awesome. That's great. Yeah. Right okay. now, I, I, I. I has has you have I have listened in the first part. Okay, you have listened to the first part. Okay. Yeah. Nice. How is it? Is it easy, hard? Uh, no, really easy. Okay. Pretty good, yeah. Edwin. Keep going. Okay. Good evening, Freddy. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm great. What about you? Well, pretty good. Great. So how was the weekend? Eh, well, good. Okay. I was doing homework, things like that. Okay. And you stayed home? <laughs> I stay home every day. Okay. That's nice. And how about the platform, Freddy? I am in the final exam. Okay, you're also in the final exam. Nice. Yeah. Great. You're almost done. Yeah. Mm. Sure. Good evening, Joel Beaches. Joel Beaches, good evening. Good evening, Miss Lily. How are you doing? Not too bad. Okay, sounds good. So, how was the weekend? <laughs> mm. It was relaxed. Okay. I stay in, at home. All right, that's nice. So what did you do? Just resting, watching TV? Watching TV, I was watching TV. And do you like movies? I'm working. Do you like to watch movies? In, home. <laughs> in oh, my okay. hobbies. Also working. So yes. what do you do, with Joel? What do you Sorry. do? Sorry. Ah. I, I was uh, fixing a chair. Okay, nice. So are you a carpenter or just do you do it as a hobby or what is it? No, it's a hobby. Oh, okay. It's a hobby. Pretty good. And how about the platform, Joel? Okay. <laughs> Did you work in the platform? Sorry? Did you work in the platform? Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, I work in oh, an 80%. Oh, uh, okay. Section. You already got the 80%. That's nice. Pretty okay. good. <laughs> okay. okay. Thanks. So, good evening, Ana Maria. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? And good, and you? I'm doing pretty well. How was the weekend? Good. I stay with my family. Okay, that's nice. And the platform, Ana Maria? And Did you have any time to work on it? Not really, but I complete section four. You're in section four, okay? Yes. All right. So you're good, but remember to keep on working because we only have four days, okay? So we're finishing our course on Thursday. So okay. please keep on working. Good evening, Norma de Leon. Hi, Miss. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, Miss. 
Excellent. My, my weekend was relaxing at home, watching movies. Okay, sounds good. And how about yes. the platform, Norma? Yes, I finished my work on the platform. Oh, you finished everything? Everything. Excellent, congratulations. Thank you. Good evening, Carol. Good evening, Miss. How's it going? What? How's it going? How are you? Fine, and you? Excellent. Okay. So, how was the weekend? Um, I'm relaxed. Okay. I, yes, I at uh, home. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. In the platform, did you work on it? Yes, um, uh, finish uh, the platform, but uh, one uh, pregunta, question. Yep. Uh, it un problema, pero ya lo voy a corregir. Creo que ya vi cuál es el error. <laughs> ah, okay. okay. All right, yes. that's fine. We still have time okay. to change something that we like to, okay? Okay. So if you need to change to change anything, just do it now because you have um, some time still. Yes. But it's going to close on Thursday, remember. So yes, you're fine. Very good, Carol. Yes, thank you. Good evening, Sara Jacobo. Hi, Miss. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine and very well. Excellent. How was the weekend? Um, I go to the Laguna with my daughter and my husband. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Yes. And how about the work in the platform? Have you been working on it? Yes, I I complete the the final exam. Okay. I got my certificate. Oh, you're done with everything. Excellent. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you, Miss. Good evening, Irma Aguilar. Check your microphone, please. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? I'm great. I'm doing pretty well. Thank you. So, how about the work in the platform? How are you doing with that? Um, I have been to work at a uh, uh, platform. Yep. But I think that, uh, I don't know, I, I remember that I work, uh, I was work, um, uh, what kind of music, um, what kind of TV program. Yeah. Um, I think that I, I have to work with others. Okay, so maybe you were in section four. I think you are section, section four. four still. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Just remember to continue. <clears throat> remember to continue working because uh, well, we only have four days again. So please okay. keep on working. Okay. All right. Good evening, Joel Trigueros. Good evening, Miss. How are you? Good. Good, 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 good. Very good. Excellent. And how was the weekend? I I going visit uh, Huayua. Okay, you City. went to to Huayua, okay. Nice. Yeah. So it was fun, the... I guess. Excuse me? So it was fun. I understand. Eh, fue divertido, estuvo bien, right? Ah, <laughs> es que usted me habla inglés, hombre, por eso. <laughs> okay. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's funny, the, the uh, room. Oh, okay. Room is, 
in the afternoon came, came back to come back capital mm -hmm. yes. i i was play you the played? soccer okay playing soccer and my my friends okay very nice and and... oh sorry go ahead um yesterday i go in the church in you the went to the church okay and how about the mm -hmm. platform, Joel? Oh, finished. You finished. Yes. Excellent. Congratulations. And you? And you? And you work in the platform? Oh yeah, I finished. <laughs> <laughs> good. <laughs> okay. So good evening, everybody. Hi, Flor. Um, hi, Miguel. Good evening, Carlos. Good evening, Alberto. Suli. Welcome, everybody. And let's see. Um, well. We are going to start with our class right now. So let me just get my presentation. Um, before we go on, um, do you have any questions, any doubts about any of the work in the platform? No? Okay. So, Let's talk a little bit about the comparative adjectives. First of all, last class we reviewed them and we said that we add ER to the comparative form, right? So in the case of big, we have bigger for the comparative. Also, and when we have old, we add ER and we have um, older, then we have nice, nicer, pretty, prettier, cheap, cheaper expensive, more expensive, good, better, bad, worse. So please repeat, big, bigger. Big, bigger. Big, bigger. bigger. Big, bigger. Old, older. Old, Old older. older. Nice, nicer. Nice, nicer. nicer. Pretty, prettier. Cheap, cheaper. Cheap, cheaper. Expensive, more expensive. Expensive, more expensive. Good, better. Good, better. Bad, worse. Bad, worse. Okay, and so that's how we make um, comparative adjectives, right? Then let's practice by using, uh, well, by making a comparison <coughs> living in a city and living in a town. So let's see, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. So you have a couple of minutes to talk about this topic. Which one is better, living in a city or living in a town? You can discuss about um, all, the, all the things that are related to living in both places, right? So maybe cities are dirtier than towns or towns are maybe healthier than cities. You yes, name sir. it, okay? So? Uh, can I relate town with the country feel? Um, yeah, yeah, kind of. So remember that a town is a pueblo, right? Mm -hmm. so, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me just send you to the breakout rooms so you have a little talk with your classmates. There you are. Please accept the invitation and practice. Well, what about towns and cities? I'm a living city, but my grandmother living in a town. I love it. I I would love if I live living live live living living 
No, living is living. Okay. No, living is three person. I will happy, happy, happily, happily, happily if I live. Yeah, because I use will. I live in a town. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And you, Carol? <clears throat> mm. um, I live. Organics and uh, people are very friendly. And, and then I prefer to live uh, in a town. And you, Ana Maria? Uh, I prefer living a town maybe because towns are more quiet. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to say es más tranquilo. Uh, quiet. They are quieter. Quiet. Quieter. Quieter. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. I don't know the 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 people in towns friendly are uh, are friendly. Is okay, teacher friendly? Yep, they are friendlier. Okay, friendly. Okay. And you, Joel? Ah, te dije que yo vivía en el campo. Ah, my parents eh, they are um, ellos son el campo they, they are, they're from the they the are from field. the count uh -huh. uh, but I born in the city. You live in the city. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But is right. you, but go, is, you go to visit your father? Yes, I visit uh, um one as las ramblas. Um, the, el nuevo the, camino, the, camino a Santa Tecla. Ah, yes, yes. The, the, the new mall. The new mall. De todos los, toda la finca que estaba ahí se la acabaron en, en un ratito. Yeah, sí. <laughs> the city. Dan. The town. Dan, ajá. Uh ajá. -huh. Uh -huh. In a town, in el pueblo. Uh -huh. the the uh, the second uh, the vegetable the best vegetable vegetable um, is vegetable I don't uh -huh. know I don't know in Spanish. Vegetable, vegetales. Uh, vegetable, vegetable. Vegetable. Uh -huh. vegetable is, uh -huh. I don't know, how do you say, eh, fresco, more fresh. Fresh. Fresher. Fresher. Yep. Fresher. Yep. Fresher. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Okay, Than you're the welcome. City. Than the city. Hello, Carlo. Hello, Carlo. You. What? How are you, Carol? Fine, and you? Fine. Okay. Hi, Sarah. 
Hi. Hi, Carol. How are you? Fine. And you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you too. Teacher. Okay. So let me hear some of the comparisons you made. Let's see, Sara Jacobo, what can you tell me about living in a city and living in a town? Uh, it's better living in a town. Um, okay. The weather, it's, it's uh, cool and um, fresh. And the place is bigger. All right, excellent, Sara, thank you. Alberto. What can you tell me? What's your opinion about this? Hi, teacher. I think uh, living in that in a town is better uh, than living in the city because in in a town uh, you enjoy the nature, enjoy the animals, um, and enjoy with the uh, different uh, activities uh, for example you you go the ri rivers or, yes. or mountains and you uh, share with your parents uh, or visit the different uh, different parents and the, in the towns. Okay, pretty well, Alberto, thank you. Edwin, You're welcome. what can you tell us about cities and towns? Well, I agree with all of them because uh, the town is it's nice. It's, the, the weather is cool, fresh, would say uh, Sarah. Less traffic, the air is, is more, more fresh. The, the beauty of the the plants, flowers, the birds singing in the morning. The well, for for uh, for many many things, is 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 more better living. It's better. Living in town. Yeah. yeah. Okay, nice Edwin, thank you. Let's see, um, Ana Maria, what do you think about this? Uh, I, always, I always live in a, a city, but I think that it's better live in a town. Oh, really? Because, yeah, no, because uh, towns, uh, in towns, uh, is less pollution, are less pollution. Okay, there uh, is less pollution. Uh, they, they, they are uh, more quiet, quiet, quiet. They are kilos, quieter. Quieter, mm -hmm. uh, people are friendlier than people in, in the cities. Okay. City. All right, sounds nice. Thank you, Ana Maria. Roberto, what's your opinion? Hi, um, the, my opinion is living in a town is, is better. Okay, why? Uh, and the living in a city, living in a city is, is more expensive. And, yep. and in, in living in a town is, um, is, no sé cómo se dirá, tranquilo, es más. Quieter? Quieter. Quieter. Ok. Quieter. And, and the weather is better, too. Yeah, the weather is nicer, right? It's okay. nicer. All right, thank you. Freddy, okay. what can you tell us? Sure. Yeah, I really love uh, the, the town, but I can say that if you want to to have very opportunities in studies or something like that, you have to move to the city because 
in the if you if you live in the city, the university are closer. The everything, the jobs, everything. But I can say that living in a town is is beautiful because you know you can breathe the pure air, air, right? Yeah. And the the people people are nicer, friendly. I really love it, and also as everything said that that uh, living in a town is cheaper so than living in a city, you know, with, with five dollars you can eat a lot of pupusas and a lot mm -hmm. of things, right? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Okay, yeah. thank you, Freddie. You're welcome. All right, so it's very nice to hear that, well, you all have different opinions, right? But it's nice. Both cities and towns have some advantages and disadvantages too. So now let's practice by listening a conversation. Well, I'm going to play it. You are going to listen and answer these two questions, first of all. So you have to get the answers for what does Rita's brother do and what does Rita's sister do? Okay, you listen and you answer these two questions. Just get what they do. Are you ready to talk about your family? Can you hear that? Yes. Yes. I want you to play the conversation. I'm practicing in class. Asking about families. Part A. Listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, did you get the answers to the questions? Yes? So tell me, what does Rita's brother do? We don't know because it's a secret. Oh, is that for the brother or for her sister? Oh, her sorry, sister. the brother. Yeah, exactly. So her sister is her in a sister. secret mission or in a secret project, right? Yes. And she works for the? Government. For the government, exactly. Government. And how about her brother? And her brother's works by photographer, why, why like, yeah. traveling, photographer. Amazon. traveling Amazon. Amazon. as a wildlife photographer and he's traveling in the Amazon. Yes. It, yep. So we say he's a wildlife photographer. Do you understand the meaning of wildlife? No. No. Yes. Exactly. What? Uh, okay, yeah, thank like you. Animals and stuff. All right, so pretty well, you got the two answers. Now let's listen to the to the rest of the conversation and answer these two questions. Where do Rita's parents live and what do Rita's parents do? Okay, so please pay attention and answer those two. Can you tell me now where Rita's parents live? What do they do? Page 31, exercise three, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do Rita's parents live? What do they do? So what about your parents, Rita? Where do they live? They live in Texas. Oh, where in Texas? In Austin. It's a small city, but it's very nice. Are they still working? Oh, yes. My mother is teaching at the university there, and my father is a carpenter. Are you ready? 
All right. So did you get the two answers? Yes, no? Yes. They live in Texas. In Austin, exactly. The mother, uh, mother is teaching and her father is a carpenter. He's a carpenter. That's right. Pretty good. So now let me just share the conversation. Let me show it to you. And we're going to practice it. Do I have two volunteers to read the conversation? Edwin. Sure. Edwin and? Freddy. 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 Okay. Go ahead, Freddy. You start. Okay. Tell me. Tell me about your brother and sisters, too. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project, for project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. Ah, uh, what an interesting family. Can I meet them? No, my sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in Amazon, in the Amazon. Okay, thank you guys. Yeah, you're welcome. How about other people to read the conversation? Let's see. Me, Sarah. Sarah and? Me, Carol. Carol, okay. Yes. So, Carol, go ahead. And Rita? Yep. Okay. And tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about you, brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh, no. My sister, away. she's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay. All right. Thank you, girls. So please repeat government. 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 Sure. 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 Very. 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 Secret. 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 Project. 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 Wildlife. 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 Photographer. 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 Interesting. 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 Family. Family. Away. 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 Do you understand the meaning of this word away? My sister's away. away. What's the meaning of that? My sister's away. What's the meaning what of that? What did they say? My sister's away. My sister's away. away. My sister's away. ¿Entendemos el significado de esto? No. Está lejos. Está lejos. Exactly. Mi hermana okay. está lejos, right? Okay. 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 Um, now let's practice the rest of the conversation. Teacher. Right here. Tell me. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Away or far away? Um, you could say both. Far away. Uh, far away is just um, to emphasize it. Okay. 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 All right, so um, let's continue by reading the rest of the conversation. Do I have any other volunteers to read? So what about your parents, Rita? Where do they live? They live in Texas. Um, oh. Please be careful with your microphones. Let's see, um, Ana Maria, can you help me to read? And how about um, Joel Beaches? 
Okay. I'm Rita. Yes. And okay. Joel, let's see. I think he's gone. So how about Joel Trigueros? Joel, are you there? Me? Yep. Me? <laughs> Come on, Joel. <laughs> okay. All right, you start. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the um, government. 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 Oh. oh, what does she do? I am not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's well, well, life. Photo wrapper. Oh. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh, no. My sister, anyway, she's not working in the United States this moment. And your brother? He's traveling in El Salvador. Okay, thank you guys. All right, okay. so just repeat, please. Traveling. Everybody? He's traveling. Okay. So everybody repeat. Traveling. 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 Interesting. Traveling. Interesting. 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 Wildlife. 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 Photographer. 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 Wildlife photographer. Wildlife, Wildlife, Wildlife photographer. Wildlife photographer. Secret project. Secret, Secret project. project. Government. 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 Okay, so let's see. Let me get back to the presentation. And let's talk a little bit about the family members. So what family members do you know? Let's make a list. Mm. Father, mother, father, sister, mother, mother sister, sister, brother, 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 uncle, 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 father, mother, son, son, daughter, child, daughter, what else? daughter, 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 mother, in law. Mother-in-law. Grandmother. Grandmother. And my aunt. Grandmother. Aunt. Grandson. Grandson. Uncle. Yes. Yeah, it's there. Granddaughter. Granddaughter. What is it? Nicer. Nicer teach Miss. Granddaughter. Granddaughter. Any other? Grandfather. Grandfather in law. Grandfather, father in law. Brother in law. Exactly. Father in law, no teacher. Mother in law, no. <laughs> Come on. Brother in law. Okay. So please repeat, father, 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 mother, 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 mother. Sister. sister, sister, brother, brother, brother. brother. Uncle. uncle, uncle, son, son, son. daughter, daughter, daughter. cousin. Mother-in-law, mother-in-law, grandmother, grandmother, grandmother. Aunt. aunt, aunt, grandson, grandson, grandson. Niece. niece, niece, granddaughter, granddaughter, grandfather, grandfather, father-in-law. 
and brother-in-law. Brother-in-law. Let me just add this word, siblings. So um, that is a word to refer to both brothers and sisters. So whenever we say brothers, we refer to only boys, brothers. Then mm -hmm. we have sisters for only girls, but siblings is for both, brothers and sisters. Okay? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So do you understand the meaning of all the words we have here? Yes? Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Excellent. So let's move on. Let's start talking about the present continuous. So first of all, we need to know how to make the verbs in the ing form, right? So what do we do? Well, the general rule is to have the base form of the verb and then just add ing, right? It's pretty easy, like in the case of cook, it becomes cooking. Can you give me another example? Waiting, um, wait, waiting. Wait, waiting. Teach, teaching. Teach, teaching. Okay, pretty good. So that would be the general rule, right? Just add ing. But then we have some other cases, for example, the verbs that end in E. In those cases, you have to drop the E and add an ING. For example, with the verb love, it becomes loving, right? Hello. Then we also have the verb drive. You see you delete or you erase drive. the E and then you change it for ING, right? Drive, drive. Driving. Any other? And store. See, listen, listen, and listen. See. Okay, that one is part of the first rule, right? We only add ing, listen, listening. Okay. Store. See. What is it, Edwin? Store. 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 Um, yep. Store, store. Like this? Yep. Okay. Yeah. So, thank you. So then we also have another special case, which is verbs ending in IE. So what do we do with those? Well, we drop the IE and then we change the, well, let's just say add Y and ING. How come? Let me give you an example. For example, lie, it becomes lying, okay? Lie, lying. Also, we have the verb die, which becomes dying, okay? okay? Yes, that's how you change them. And we have our, our last rule for the verbs that go in consonant, vowel, consonant. So what do I do in those cases? Well, I double the last consonant and then I add ing. For example, the verb stop. Stopping. Run. Running. Double N, double P. Then we have begin. Beginning. There you are. Is that clear or do we have any questions? It's clear. Okay, so now it's time to talk about the present continuous. So when do I use the present continuous? Well, first of all, we use it for the actions happening now at the moment of speaking. 
For example, I'm talking to you. At this moment, I'm talking to you. You are listening to me. And we also have a second use for the present continuous, which is for the near future. So, um, for example, I could ask you, what are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing tomorrow? And then you could answer like, I'm working all day. I am watching movies. I am going to the park. Okay, so you use it either to talk about the present for the things happening now or the future, the near future. And then what's the structure that we need to make sentences? Well, first of all, we need a subject. Then we add the verb be in any of, of its forms, depending on the subject. So it could be am, um, is, or are. Then we add the verb in ing. And after that, we need complement. So how about we make some examples? Let's see, help me with the examples, please. So I already gave you one. It was, I am talking to you. Mm -hmm. I am watching the movie. I am watching a movie. Yes. We are learning with you. We are learning with Miss Lily. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? I am studying English. I'm studying English. Oh, this is also important. And for the verbs that end in Y, just add ING. Los verbos que terminan en Y, de igual forma se les agrega el ING, se mantienen las dos, Y y luego la I latina del ING, ¿ok? Ok. All right. How about another example? I am playing. Um, you are playing. Playing. Okay. Soccer playing. tomorrow. Okay, I am playing soccer tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, okay. We use it okay. for the future. Very good. Okay. All right, so now um, let me just send you back to the breakout rooms for you to practice by making examples, making more examples. So I want you to pay attention to what's happening around you. So maybe your family is home and then, oh, well, you could go like, my sister is watching TV, my brother is sleeping and so on, right? Just pay attention to all the things happening around you and talk to your classmates. So let's see. Okay, okay I'm sending you now. Okay, well, now I listen to my dog breaking, ladrando. You say barking. 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 Okay. Barking, okay. barking but for cats. Ah, yes. Is um, the molesto? She, she will be. It's annoying. No. What? Annoying. Annoying, yes. It's annoying. What mean annoying? Molest Molesto. Molesto. Molesto, okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, she's his kiss because I love it. Mm. It's annoying. Okay. <laughs> the, the cats, my, my dog become, became or become? 
Um, what do you the want to say? Became crazy. Oh yeah, it became. Okay. 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 What about you, Carol? Um, uh, my daughter is uh, the the um tareas uh, and in, in my uh, my daughter in uh, working no working my daughter uh, is doing homework okay my daughter is doing homework in the university and in watching a movie <laughs> <laughs> Only that because I live with, with my daughter and me. Okay. Are, are, are you ready to go in and sleep and sleeping? Yes, but we have to finish the English class. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you, Anna Marie? Uh, I have to finish. Okay. Uh -huh. I pay mm -hmm. for a course the English, but basic. Uh -huh. uh, I pay for a course basic. Mm -hmm. The um the class I have the class the ten o'clock p.m. Uh, eight. And then, and then coming this class. Oh, okay. Uh, and right. now you are taking another course. Uh huh. That's great. Los dos a la misma vez. I don't know. <laughs> I am writing. Writing. Yes. I finally found a pen. Writing the sentences. I am watching the movie. <laughs> I am watching the movie. Ah. <laughs> or late. I am paying attention. No, no, no. I right now, no. <laughs> <laughs> My, no, um, my. Okay. Uh -huh. And now we try is listen music every day. Uh, in movies, but uh, must for more I, vocabulary. I watch, I watch movies. I, I watch, watch movies, movies. Yes. for to improve your English. Yeah. He, he listen music, music, music but my ear here very well. Um, I'll try it. You listen to, to, you listen to music for, for to improve your, your listening. Okay. It, okay. It, what do you for by, by study in, in, your, in your work? Sorry? I can what? hear you, but I didn't get how what, what did <laughs> okay so we're back let's see let me hear about the things that are happening around you let's see edwin you start Okay, thanks, teacher. Well, uh, last few minutes, my dog became crazy because the cats around, around in, in house. Okay. Techo. Roof. 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 And he barking, my dog, my dog. Your dog is barking, okay. Yeah, he's, he's crazy. All right, thank you, Edwin. Am I too? Am I too? By my ears. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Carol. Nice. Okay, yes. thank you, Edwin. So Carol, mm. can you tell us about what's happening around you? Um and my daughter uh with doing no she doing in homework the university um my mother my father in i sleep in sleeping they are sleeping and he's sleeping in and my brother is watching tv okay okay <clears throat> very nice thank you carl Roberto, what can you tell me? What's going on over there? Hello, Hi. Miss. Uh, hola. Yes, Roberto Suarez. Okay. Um, my my son, uh, they are playing with my wife in the in the in the bedroom. Okay. Is that it? It's, it's over. <laughs> okay, thank you, Roberto. Okay, Alberto Raimundo, go ahead and participate, please. Okay, my daughter is no, my daughter, my daughter uh, is playing uh, video video, uh, game? video games mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and. Um, my wife is sleeping right now. Okay, thank you, Alberto. Freddy, what can you tell me about um, the things that are going on around you? There is no a lot of things, right? Just the air is getting through the window. Oh, okay. Room. Okay. Nothing else. That's it. Okay, yeah. so it's very quiet over there. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, thank you, Freddy. You're welcome. Um, let's see, Miguel Presa, tell me some other examples. Hi. Hi, Miguel. Hi, I be here in, in my home only with my children. Yep. And one is watching TV and the other is here with me here in the class. Okay, very nice. So say hi to him. <laughs> and let's see, Flor, Flor Argentina. Can you give me some more examples, please? Um, guys, can you hear me? The miss I is sleeping. Oh. Shut up, shut up. I was gone. Sorry, it's the Where internet you, that's failing. <laughs> okay, so I, 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 I is liar. I is liar, miss. All right, so I think uh, that will be all for today's class. Just let me remind you that this is our last week. So please keep working in the platform. Remember, we need at least 80%. And um, well, uh, we need to complete at least 80% in the platform to pass to the next course. Las inscripciones, creo que ya las están haciendo. Ya alguno habrá enviado documentos y todo. Pero recuerde que esas aplicaciones no se completan si usted no hace el trabajo en plataforma. Entonces, es importante que sigamos trabajando, que lleguemos al menos al 80% para que podamos pasar al siguiente curso, ¿ok? Empezamos okay. hasta el jueves. Así que eh, les animo a seguir trabajando. Entre más pronto usted haga eso, pues estará ya en el preintermedio 2, ¿verdad? Así que adelante, ánimos. Ok, teacher. Ok, teacher. thank you very much. Um, yes. ¿Tiene idea de cuándo se cierran las inscripciones? La verdad no sé, Edwin. Eh, pero si gusta puede preguntar ahí en el grupo. Igual ahí está eh, Jonathan y también Jason. Ellos manejan esa información. Ok. Ok, thanks. Ah,
Sorry, Freddy. Are you gonna be with us in the next tour? Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know yet. Really? Oh, okay. I have no idea. <laughs> okay, sure. so take care and have a good night. Good night. Have a good night. Bye. 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 B